Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 4th of 2024 is titled Gaia, Here Comes the Sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that we're going to play from the Gaia data, looking at the Gaia satellite, which is making measurements of the positions and distances to the stars. And what we can do putting that all together is to be able to get a three dimensional map, a better map of our own galaxy. Now let's take a look at the video and see what we get here. And as it starts, we'll see our galaxy and then we'll see that we zoom in toward the sun's location there. So once we're getting in there, we're starting to get the data from the Gaia satellite. And you'll see that large cluster in there as we're getting actual data, three dimensional distances that have been determined. And you'll see common names of many of the stars here as we continue to move around and look toward this and look towards, say, the Orion region, seeing stars like Betelgeuse and Rigel. And then, of course, Sol will appear, our own sun, and we'll zoom in a little closer into that and take a look. And eventually, we'll be able to see uh, not only our star, but actually our own solar system appearing as well. Now we see that and then as we zoom in through the outer planets and in toward the inner planets, we'll actually be able to see our own Earth as we get toward the end of the video here. Now, as we see this, what we're looking at is again mapping out the distances. Now we do these through a process called parallax. It's a shifting of a position of a star relative to the differing position of the observer. So what we do is we can observe from two different locations and that will allow a slight shift to occur. And that slight shift is related to the distance. Now you can use this yourself by holding your finger out in front of your eye. And if you alternate blinking one eye and the other, you'll see that your finger moves a little bit. The closer your finger is to your eye, the more it will move. The farther away it is, the less it will appear to move relative to farther out objects. And that amount of that shift then allows us to determine the distance. So we can do the same thing with stars. For example, we can look at Earth's orbit and we can make an observation, say now in August, and then make an observation six months later in February. And while we may not have changed our position on Earth, Earth has changed its position by quite a bit. It's gone from one side of the sun to the other. So it has changed its position quite drastically by, in that case, about 300 million kilometers. So that's a very big distance and gives us a baseline. Unfortunately, that's still a very small baseline and we need extremely accurate measurements of the positions. And in fact, it took us a long time. It was less than 200 years ago that we actually got the first accurate measurements of stellar distances. But now with the Gaia satellite and extremely accurate observations of these positions, we're now able to start getting maps of large chunks of our Milky Way galaxy getting accurate distances much farther out than we ever could before. So that was our picture of the day for August 4th of 2024. It was titled Gaia, Here Comes the Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.